Hi, Victoria Rachel. Due to a copyright takedown notice that we received, we had to take down your video from YouTube. So yeah, my original Why Searing Hamsters Are Solitary video was taken down by force uh, because of the use of a very short clip that I used an example to a channel who believes Syrians are not solitary, uh, and the clip is their hamsters physically fighting, and technically it could fall it could fall under the fair use trade, but I'm not going to waste my time fighting with YouTube and this channel, and I will just redo my video. So Syrian hamsters are they solitary? In a short answer, yes. What does the word solitary mean? Solitary means to be done or exist alone. Syrians by nature are solitary animals. This means they fully live on their own in the wild by themselves. The only time they coexist with each other is when it comes time to mate and when the mother is raising the pups. So essentially a male and a female will come together, they will breed, the female will then chase away the male and tell him to get the heck out of there and she will then have her pups and then until eight weeks of age instincts then start to kick into the pups and they become territorial and then they move out to go find their own territory. When a Syrian hamster becomes territorial, they essentially will fight each other to the death. Um, and when they're in the wild, this is less likely to happen because when you have miles and miles and miles of space, if you start fighting each other, you have space to run away uh, and get away from the other hamster that's trying to fight you over territory. When you have forced two Syrian hamsters in captivity into a cage to live with each other, there is no other place to go, so when they do start fighting, there is no place for the other hamster to go, and it can lead to death or very serious injuries. Syrian hamsters do not get lonely or depressed from not having a friend. This is humanizing them. This is giving a hamster human feelings. They don't feel lonely by not having a companion of the same species like humans do. So many of you may wonder, okay, well then why do pet stores house Syrian hamsters together? This is due to, once again, age. Most pet stores have Syrian hamsters that are under eight weeks of age, but of course, once they start to get up to eight weeks of age, they generally will start fighting and most of the time, either a pet store won't notice them fighting um, and one will end up dead in the enclosure or you will witness a Syrian hamsters fighting in the pet store and you'll have to alert somebody about it or they will catch it in time and they will separate the instigator from the rest and put them in a separate cage. Another thing is small enclosures. Syrians are fighting over territory, but if there is no territory to fight over because you have been trapped in something so small, then there's nothing to fight over. But this is no excuse to house more than one Syrian together um, because you want to keep them together because it is cruel and selfish because they do need tons of space. This is an animal that runs miles and miles and miles per night. They need large cages. But what about siblings? Can they live together? No, siblings still will fight each other. They do not care if they are related or not. That is why in the wild, when they grow up, they will start fighting with each other and they will move out to go find their own territory. They do not care if they were our brothers or if they are sisters. They don't love their sibling. They are going to hurt each other no matter what. This is why ethical breeders will separate their Syrian pups at eight weeks of age or sometimes sooner if instincts start kicking in, they will separate them because they are territorial animals and they are solitary. The amount of people who have told me that they tried to house their Syrian hamsters together or they tried to have them on a play date and they either killed each other, ate each other, or injured each other literally makes me sick. So the fact that anybody would ever promote trying to house these animals together is just so dangerous. <sighs> It does more damage than it does good for the hamsters. 
So I would like you guys to meet Ginger. Ginger was a hamster that was surrendered to the Pipsqueakery rescue. Ginger was housed with another Syrian hamster, which then she was surrendered because they uh, started fighting and Ginger was lucky enough to make it out alive, but she didn't make it out without injuries. And so Ginger is paralyzed and she cannot use her back feet. Um, she as well can't go to the bathroom by herself, so the Pip Squeakery has to help her um, express her bladder so that she can go to the bathroom. If Ginger wasn't housed with another Syrian hamster, she wouldn't have to go through what she went through. I've also had people who try to tell me that they've had their Syrian hamsters living together for months or years and nothing's happened and that they just love each other. That doesn't make it okay. This also doesn't mean they won't ever get injured. Once again, by nature, Syrian hamsters are solitary, so essentially it is a ticking time bomb of when one hamster is one day going to snap and either kill or injure the other hamster. Not to mention, Syrians will live in stress of being forced to live with each other, and as we all may know, stress causes a lowered immune system, which then makes us susceptible to other illnesses, which it's not good. Stress can also do a lot of other things and it can make a hamster's coat look very poor, you could have hair loss. There's a bunch of different things. Stress is not good. If you know Syrian hamsters are solitary and you still choose to house them together, that is completely on you if a hamster injur injures another hamster or another hamster ends up dead. Their life is on you because you decided to put them at risk for I don't know what to see hamsters being cute together. I I understand Syrian hamsters are super duper cute and if I could have more than one in an enclosure I totally would, but it's not worth the risk for one of my hamsters to end up dying because I thought it was something that was cute or that they were lonely or that they love each other or anything like that. If you are interested in owning actual social animals, there are so many you can choose from rather than Syrian hamsters. There are rabbits, guinea pigs, chinchillas, uh, rats, female mice, gerbils, so many to choose from and all of these animals are social and they thrive and get enrichment from the same species, unlike Syrian hamsters. If Syrian hamsters truly were social animals, they would be social in the wild like many other animals are. Take the dwarf hamster for example. This is a hamster who naturally in the wild would live in a colony. They do this for two reasons. They do this for protection because there is safety in numbers and for reproduction. They don't just become solitary because there is a limited amount of resources. If Syrians were social, they would do so in the wild because logically it just makes more sense to live in a colony because it is safer and it is way more easier to create more hamsters. But hamsters are domesticated. Can't they be changed or raised differently? No. <laughs> hamsters are not domesticated the same way dogs are. Dogs have been domesticated for 20 to 40 thousands of years, whereas the Syrian hamster was brought back in 1930. So that would mean they've only been domesticated for about 90 years. That is less than a century. Domesticating an animal also cannot change their instinctive or natural behavior. This is why hamsters still have the instincts for foraging, burrowing, and running and running and running around in their enclosure, and that's why they need large enclosures. This is also why cats still have their hunting skills as well as their feeding and grooming habits, because they remain very similar to their wild ancestors. In conclusion, if you would like to house multiple Syrian hamsters together, then I would suggest getting multiple enclosures where they cannot come in contact with each other and they'll be a lot happier. Or just stick with getting actual social animals. And to the channel who claimed copyright on my video saying that it was an illegal source, Please work on your hamster care standards before you go around promoting a dangerous theory. Thank you.